What's up everybody, it's Luke from Weld Pro. Today I am here with the awesome MiG-200 multi-process welder. Got it here behind me in the box. I wanna go ahead and take this thing out of the box for you today and show you exactly what comes in it so when you order, you know what to expect. First thing you'll find in the top is your owner's manual. Keep this handy for reference as you're setting up the welder. The second thing you pull out is gonna be the accessory and parts box. Uh, we'll go through this here in just a second. And then the bottom of your box, you'll find your MiG-200. These machines are absolutely beautiful. Very nice control surface on the front, tactile buttons and rotary knob, great enamel finish and quality parts all the way around. Inside this machine, you've got an all metal drive system. We'll talk a little more about the machine itself in part two, the setup video, where we show you how to adjust the interface, set up wire, and attach everything to this machine. Let's break open this parts box and see exactly what's inside. The MiG-200 is a dual voltage machine. It'll run on 220 volts or 110 volts AC. The MiG-200 comes with a dual voltage adapter. Simply plug in the 220 volt plug from the machine into the adapter and it converts to 110 volts. In the box, you'll locate your ground clamp with the cable attached. This is an awesome ground clamp with a strong spring. You'll also find your stinger or your electrode holder. These are high quality electrode holders and work extremely well for a long time. Next, we find the gas hose. This will allow us to connect our flow meter to our machine. Speaking of flow meters, there is a very nice brass flow meter that comes with the MiG-200. It's found in this white box. We'll go ahead and leave it in here for now so it's protected until we install it. Next thing to come out is the TIG torch. The MiG-200 is a multi-process welder, therefore it's capable of running DC TIG. The TIG torch that comes with it has a hand-operated gas valve. Keep an eye out because we're going to have a separate video on setting this machine up to run TIG. You'll find a TIG parts kit located in this box. It contains parts like tungsten, collets, collet bodies, and gas cups. There's also a clear bag with contact tips as well as a wrench to install them. You'll find some extra drive rolls along with a wing nut. We'll need this to set up the MIG gun and I'll show you about that in part two. Last but not least is the Ergo Plus MIG gun. This is an extremely nice MIG gun with a ball relief on the back. It makes it very comfortable to use. Also, the trigger is made for two fingers so it doesn't cause fatigue. The parts are easy to disassemble and reassemble. Just overall a very nice MIG gun. Thanks so much for tuning in. Please take a minute and hit the subscribe button under this video. WeldPro is committed to releasing tutorials and how-to videos to better help you hone your craft. Thanks again. From all of us here at WeldPro, we can't wait to see what you build with your MiG-200.